There's a new it girl coming out of South Korea, taking over social media and the music scene by the name of DJ Soda or DJ Soda official. Now she's even caught the eye of Drizzy Drake, who's been liking her post via Instagram. So let's take a look at what all the fuss is about. Now it's not just Drake who's given her uh, a little bit of attention. She's also been hooking up with the likes of Post Malone. Not like making the beast with two back. You know, the two were just vibing together. He was at one of her shows. Take a look. Oh girl, I like you. I do. Can't be Dox and Post Malone. That man is a father. In fact, so is Drake. Anyway, I know my editor Jesus is going to enjoy this video because his wife looks a whole lot like DJ Soda. And uh, there she is enjoying, well, a bubble tea. Anyway, she also reminds me a little bit of Azzyland, at least her mannerisms. Now, DJ Soda has made quite a name for herself with 1.7 million followers on YouTube and another 4.9 million over on the gram. Now, she's bound to take over America, but just recently she got herself into a whole lot of trouble with American Airlines. Now, to find out more about that and how she got a co-sign from the likes of Post Malone and Drake, well, you're going to have to stay tuned to this episode of Famous News. This is nice. Oh, no! You still didn't like me. You shot me. Yes, send the location. I'm number one. My calling is to be the leader of the free world. DJ Soda has taken the Asian clubbing and electronic music festival scene by storm, and in recent years, she's risen to the very top. She's their biggest export, apparently, and I'm talking about South Korea. Now, in recent years, it's been her bubbly K-pop demeanor and her musical selection that run through Boom Bap to Trap to EDM to Hard Dubstep, and as she is known for her own songs, which include 22 Cities and Stay Sweet. Now, DJ Soda, whose real name is Hoang So Hee, which actually means Big Bull in Korea, well, uh, she's also in her mid to late 30s. What? She's actually born the same year as me, so she ain't no spring chicken. For real. You wouldn't know it if I didn't tell you. You're goddamn right. Now roll back the clock a few years ago in her first world tour, it kicked off in Taiwan. Now this was many years ago, and at the time she wasn't even famous. But it was the Taiwanese people that showed her a lot of love and partied like crazy during her set that set her on the road to success. But how the hell did she catch the eye of Drizzy Drake? Well digging through the archives of the internet, we found this throwback video of her doing the In My Feelings Challenge. And you wouldn't believe it, but this was actually four years ago. Take a look. Now she's currently on tour across Asia, stopping in Taiwan, the Philippines, Indonesia, and she'll be doing a set in Singapore for New Year's Eve. Now for those of you curious why she isn't heading out to North America or doing a set in Las Vegas, well, she actually got into a little bit of a scuffle with American Airlines. She actually got kicked off a flight when she was heading from New York to Los Angeles, all because of her pants. That's right. She was sporting some black sweatpants with the words on them that said, F off, F you, F no. Or at least I think that's what they said. They kind of abbreviated it. There was a lot of F's and a lot of O's. Now, the pants, they were actually sponsored by the brand Rip and Dip. And, uh, well, she actually stated via Twitter, I had an important meeting set up in LA on that day, so I could not afford to get off this flight. I pleaded to stay on the flight, but was ignored by the staff and the flight attendants. I even offered to get changed, but the request was denied. She then continued to say that she would be boycotting American Airlines. So until she figures that all out or gets on uh, Air Drake, I guess we'll have to wait to see her return to North America. Now, do you think she is the new it girl to take over uh, American DJing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And uh, Jesus, I know this one was for you, buddy. Thank you. It was a slow news day, and I'm like, hey, I know who will like this. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Boom!